video on how to attach the stems to the brattle book hay holders after you've done the treatment on the back. I was a little unprepared when I started the first video. I thought I should have had everything lined up, but this was spontaneous. So here we go. I'm going to roll with it. So after you do the spray glue to get your lemon leaf on the back of the bouquet holder, what you want to do is use a U-glue strip on the stem of the bouquet holder because otherwise if you don't do this and you just put your bare stems on the plastic, what I have found is they can leave off and that sort of ruins your faux technique if it falls apart. So you need this to hold your stems, which I've already pre-cut, onto the bouquet holder. So they're, at least they're pretty sticky. You're gonna bind them with some tape, but if you do this, it makes your life a lot easier getting the stems onto the bouquet holder. I've already cut them all the same length, and because I made my centerpieces first, I had an entire trash barrel full of hydrangea stems to choose from. So, there you have it. I've already pre-cut some quarter-inch oasis tape. You can use the half-inch, whatever. Something nice and sticky and strong and waterproof. So I'm just going around the stems. I usually do this in two places because I think it's more secure and less likely for anything to slip. Okay, so there you have your stem treatment. I'd go back and cut them all nice and even, but what's great about this is it looks and feels like that bouquet hole. The, the hand tie bouquet. Sometimes I will stuff one right up into the bottom, into the hole of the bouquet holder itself, and then you really can't tell that there's a bouquet holder. That one, I, unless the stem is loose, I don't use an adhesive, but you could put a little bit of like a U-glue dash on there and stuff it in there, a little bit of the Oasis glue and it won't fall out. And like I had mentioned, I'll go back with some greenery and tape that right on. I don't usually do that step with the first round of tape because I'm too busy concentrating on making sure that the stems stay in place. So I just go back, put a little bit of that foliage, and then go around with the ribbon. And while I'm at it, I'm going to show you that chenille technique to keep the flowers from jumping out of the floral ball. So I pre-cut chenille into little one-inch strips. This entire weight wedding is hydrangea in August in New Hampshire. It's 90. So you know that bouquet at 6 o'clock is going to look sketchy when she's picking it up for her first look pictures at 11. So what you do is cut your blooms, anything soft stemmed. This is mini green hydrangea. I've cut it really short. And you stick the chenille into the soft part of the stem. And you want to leave a good half an inch sticking out. And that is what you put right into the bouquet holder. I call it once and done. You don't want to make Swiss cheese of this thing. So you got to know where you want to put the stems. And what happens is the, sh the chenille, the flocking in the chenille wicks the water and then it doesn't fall out. I mean, nervous, bridesmaids, it's going to be okay. If you've ever seen any videos from your weddings or attended weddings, you know that those bridesmaids come into the venue like rock stars and they're shaking their bouquets over their head. 
so you don't want flowers leaping out. So really, um, the chenille is the trick. If you have stems that are too woody, um, sometimes with lianthus, for example, you can't get the chenille into that stem because it's kind of hard. You would put it next to the stem, like this, next to the cut, and just go around it with a little bullion wire and then insert it. It's a little bit of extra effort, but you know these flowers aren't going to wilt. I started my bridal party bouquets on Thursday for Saturday weddings. This stuff holds up. You can re-wet the foam. It is a lifesaver. I'm a one-man bander out here, so I got to maximize my time and be super efficient. So this is a great, great trip. I wish you tremendous success. If you have any questions about the process, 